Welcome back to the Gray Zone. I'm John Gray. And I'm Oscar Gray. We're going to bring you some soccer knowledge. Yes, we are getting to the finals in the free UEFA Cups. We have Champions League, Europa, Conference League. And how you get into these is you finish top four, let's say England. You finish top four, you go to the Champions League. If you finish fifth, Europa. Sixth, Conference League. So where you finish determines what level of, of, of a league you're in. But the bottom line is you all three championships are going to bring home a trophy. All prestigious. I'd take winning any of the three. What about you, Oscar? I, I would too, but Conference League is the least prestige. Then you have Europa, then Champions League. Let's take them in that order then. Let's start with the, the conference. You're away for Conference League. You can tune in Wednesday, May 29th. This is going to be a good one. We have Florentina Olympiacos. And a special note that Olympiacos is only the second Greek team now that they've made it to the final, to make it to a UEFA final. Any UEFA yeah, final. Yeah, any UEFA final. And where's that game being played at, Oscar Gray? Athens, Greece? Ooh, it, that's going to be a uh, slobber knocker. So, so it's basically home ground advantage for them. Any players to look for for those two teams? Yes, for um Olympiacos. Al Al Kabi have just been bowling out for them. I've heard ten goals and eight matches for that man. And, I, and, and I've also heard that he scored two versus one. To, Aston Villa. Aston Villa, yeah, Aston Villa to to get in, and Aston Villa were actually the favorite. They were the favorites they to were. win the trophy, and that they just beat them like five two on aggregate. That's just like. Crazy. So, Premier uh, League teams are often favorites, and there's none of them in these three final games. And also, Florentina has a uh, Lucas Beltran. Mm -hmm. Beltran. A difference maker for that team. He's going to have to be a big difference maker if they're going to beat them in Greece. And that's their own prediction. I personally, it's basically a home game for Olympiacos. If they can beat the favorite 5 2 1 aggregate, I think they can win this. Florentina. It's not doing well this season. Four to one. That's my pick. Olympiacos. Florentina's not doing well this season. Olympiacos is just bowling out this season. Give me a score. Give me a score. What you got? Three one. Three one. This guy, Al Al Cavi, is going to be bowling out. Two Lu goals. Lu Lu Lucas Boltron is going to score that one goal for Florentina. But not, it's not gonna going to be to. enough. Not going to be Jinx, enough. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Next game. Europa. Europa. Um, you can join Wednesday, May 12th. 22nd. Tw 22nd. Coming up just next week. The first one on the calendar, my friends. It is going to be in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, one of my favorite cities in the world. Let's see who's playing. Atlanta versus the unbeaten under Xavi Alonso. Bayon Leverkusen. Bayon Leverkusen has been unbeaten this season so far. The story of the year in all of European soccer. How do you go undefeated in uh, in in your league and in these championships? Mm -hmm. Inconceivable. No, no, they just score. They they just like lo losing the game. Then they decide, hey, why don't we score the game? Score a goal in ninety plus six. Didn't they come back against Roma when they beat yeah, them in the, yeah, in the semis? Yeah, why not? Why not make it interesting? They, they were just bowling out. You have Patrick Schick. You mm -hmm. have Victor Bonyface. You have Florian Voltz. It, it, they were just stacked. So it sounds like you got a pick in this game. Who you got? We need a goal from Schick, I think, a goal from Schick. A goal from Boniface off the penalty, of course. And Florian Voltz scoring two. So you got four, two. Atlantia Atlant gets how many? One. Four to one. I'm going to switch with you and take a score from the last game. Three, one. To who? Leverkusen. <laughs> if, with all due respect to Atlantia, who's... who's 
it's an honor to make the final of any European uh, championship. But if they beat Leverkusen, the undefeated Leverkusen team, in this final, it's, it's not going to happen. Jaws will drop. It's not going to happen. Drinks will be drunk. Drinks will be drunk either way, whether they win or lose, but uh, that might make it a double. Yeah, and, and if you have Granite Shaka um, from Arsenal this season, Granite Shaka in midfield for Leverkusen, no, it's a, it's a lost cause. Right. Lost cause. Let's go to the, the main event, the Champions League final, the biggest championship in all of European club football. What do we got going on we, at Wembley? We have UEFA Champions League Saturday, June 4th. Won't have to miss school for this one. No, we have Dortmund who beat PSG in the semifinals. And we have the, what is it now? Six Champions Leagues in like a while. No, none. In the last 12 years, yeah. they've won it like six times. They have been rising to the occasion. Yes. Over and over and over again. And, and, they, and they pulled a bell on Leverkusen, just scoring both of their goals in extra time to be, to, to t tie, to win the game. It's like crazy. They were playing Bayern Munich, right? Yes. We watched the full game in like Ooh. a classroom on a big screen. And it was such a good game, like 2-2 two -two in the fourth leg. But then Real Madrid just came on top. Real Madrid's getting older. Close is uh, getting older. Um, Modric is getting older. One of my favorite players in the entire world. But they still, I think, got enough in that gas tank. Not Nacho's also getting older. Yeah, Fernandez. but they got Vinny Jr., they got Rodrigo, they got some firepower. I predict... Wait, Dad, 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 Dad. Did we just miss someone? I, I think we missed... Jude Bellingham! Is he on the team Jude I hadn't heard? One of the biggest signings of, of last uh, last uh, summer. But, 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 but. But, 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 but. We have a stacked Borussia Dortmund team, too. They have the they have beaten guy, the teams guys. you put in front of them. They beat PSG, Paris Saint-Germain, the semis. They have not been a slouch. They got some good players, too, eh? Yep. Yeah, 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 Can you yeah, name, yeah, like, definitely. one or two? Nicholas Fuku. Isn't he yeah. like one of your favorite players in like the world? Yeah, they you got... love that name, don't you? Yes. Yeah, they... What's his name again? Fuku, Fuku, and, and they, he he got signed from my brother's favorite team, Wonder Women. So yeah, and and, and Moko Ruiz, Ruiz. Not quite as fun to say him as Fuku. Uh, but but he this is his last year, so we 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 have to see him. Which one with, last year? Yeah, last Who? year. This which one? Moko Ruiz. Okay. This is his last game for Borussia Dortmund. He's retiring after this, after like twelve years at the club. So 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 this is his last game. So we expect him to just be like balling out at the biggest stadium. You mean balling out and playing well, or balling out crying? I, I what do you mean? Balling out, playing well. Maybe a little bit of both. But, could be an emotional send-off if this team comes up and wins. And also, look, the stadium is the most prestigious stadium in soccer, Wembley in London. All right, so we're running out of time. We got to do some picks here. Who you got? I think it's June going to be a tight game, but I have 2-1. I, I think they have to go for like a 7 for 8 for now. Oh, this is tough. I'm going to say we are Madrid. Just edge. 2 1. Um, one goal from Jude Bellingham and one goal from Vinny Jr. And Nicholas Fulkuk is going to play well. Mm -hmm. I love Fulkuk and he's just like balling out. But another thing for Dortmund is that they have a great defender, Matt Hummels. He's good. But still, Real Madrid. I mean, Real Madrid's got a good cool. defender too, right? And uh, Rudiger. So, yeah. yeah. From a Chelsea man, mm -hmm. if I do recall. Mm -hmm. God, you're missing him right now, aren't you? Yep, yep. Y'all can't keep a clean sheet to save your life. But, a clean sheet is allowing no goals in the game, by the way, for those tuning in for the first time. Who, who you got, Dad? It's going to be a game that Americans won't like to watch. It's going to be nothing, nothing well into the second half, in my opinion. Real Madrid's going to try to control the ball, slow the game down. But I think we're going to see a goal in the 85th minute. minute By who? Uh, Modric to Jude Bellingham. Bellingham. one nothing is the score I got. But am I am I smart? 
Only one way to find out. Tune in. I'm not going to miss that game. I think you got a game that day, too. I might skip yours to watch this game. I might skip mine, too. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into the Gray Zone. We appreciate you. Yep. Please and, share, like, and subscribe. And also, watch those games. Like, you got to watch those games. These are going to be, like, these players are going to be bowling out. These are some of the biggest games in their career. Turn on and tune in, my friends. We'll see you watching the games. Mm -hmm. Bye.